G'day, it's Rob here again. Uh, this is just a follow-up to that last video I did where I showed you my 4x6 Rong Fu uh, metal cutting bandsaw I picked up for 85 bucks, which I'm pleased as punch about. And I mentioned at the time that I was working on uh, fitting a lock to stop the arm swinging up when you wheel it. You know, there's nothing to stop it just zoom, zooming up. And uh, then once it, once it gets in this position, the whole thing can tip over if you don't have some wide wheels on it. I put a wide wheel set on, so it's a lot more, hell of a lot more stable. But I still wanted to have a lock for the arm. So um, I was aware that on the Grizzlies, some of the Grizzlies, they have a solid arm here and they have a pin that goes through to lock it, but with a I'll hang on a bit of wire. And I thought, well, you know, there's not enough metal there to really do something like that. That's gusseted. But I thought, surely I could make up a locking arrangement for it so that when you wheel it, it's not springing up on you. And uh, I did, and I'll show you what you need to, uh, to make it. It's very simple, and uh, anybody can do it. Okay, here's the parts that you need to make up. Um, all the parts that you need, and it's very basic. It's basically a piece of flat steel with a little wing coming out on it and a, a bolt, whatever size you want to use, a washer and a lock nut and a roll pin. So they're the items that you need to make up and uh, the piece of steel is about 85 by 30 mil and it's uh, four mil thick I've used so uh, it's basic stuff you can see I've bronzed the bolt into the end um, you could arc weld it in no problem at all but I just did it with bronzing I've arc welded the tab on here as you can see just run a bit of arc through and uh, that's the that's the gadget, that's all you need, and uh, I'll show you how it works. Right, you can see the, the bolt hole I've drilled through the, the bed of the uh, saw. You can see the roll pin that I've knocked in. And uh, now I'll put it together and show you how it works. Well, here's the latch fitted onto the, uh, the band saw. And uh, to lock the arm, you just push it over and uh, it locks. A um, little roll pin I've got in here which stops it coming too far this way, so that just keeps the arm away from the spring because if I lift the, the saw up to the vertical position, the spring position will change. No worries. So there you go. How simple is that, eh? It worked a treat. So, uh, yeah, when I wheel it now, uh, no more problems with the arm swinging up and then the thing trying to tip over on me. That locks it really well. You're not weakening the arm by drilling holes through. On the Grizzlies, they have a, a pin that goes in through there, but that arm is solid right through, whereas this is webbed, so I wouldn't be too keen on drilling that putting a pin in so this works quite good and uh, it uh, it doesn't get in the way it's not too bad at all really and uh, I mean you could even if you wanted to um, you could even drill a hole get it in this position say or back there even and drill a hole through here so that you could put a pin through to keep it away from further away from the jaws but I don't think you're going to be working down this area anyway because you, this is your only effective cutting distance here so um, as it is works fantastic so how simple is that eh? Um, not hard to make and um, all you want is a roll pin, a bit of flat steel and a bolt to uh, bronze or weld in but it certainly works good stops that arm coming up and uh, yeah, it's a good simple mod which basically is just a reverse version of what they use to uh, lock the, uh, the arm up. Okay YouTubers, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, anybody who's got a 4x6 like this, this style, 
there's a very simple mod you can make to stop it tipping over and uh, yeah works good okay see you next time cheers just a final update on this uh, modification I did I noticed when I was uh, looking at the video that it did this sort of wing did flex a little bit um, only being welded on one side it was just flexing a little bit so um, I put in a uh, an angle bracket and then ground it out for the shape of the spring so um, yeah makes it nice and rigid now so if you do do the modification it's worth probably just putting a little bit of angle in like that and uh, it just makes everything a lot stronger so yeah anyway that's it definitely end of the video so okay see ya